What happens if you deep fry your CPU? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out just that. So for our lovely experiment today, we're going to take the pan, which is almost as famous as the hammer over here on the channel. Um, we'll need both of these though, because you obviously stir everything and cook everything with a hammer. So clearly that's what you use a hammer for on this channel. That and building computers, of course. We're going to try deep frying a couple things. We've got an SSD to deep fry. Uh, we've got some RAM to deep fry. Uh, we've got some CPUs to deep fry. Oh, and shout out to Mr. Homeless, I think it is, who uh, deep fried a Wii remote. While it necessarily was an inspiration for this video, you gotta give respect for people that are on that level of IQ plane. So shout out to him, fellow big brain. A couple other things I thought would be kind of interesting to try and deep fry is a computer fan. Um, obviously, because if you put computer fan in deep fryer and then you turn on fan once it's fried, that's gonna be interesting wordplay today because is it fried fried or is it fried? That's the question to fry or not to fry. Anyway, we're not talking about the electrical frying today. We're talking about literally frying it in um, batter. So we'll, we'll do that for fans too. I have my pile of GPUs, um, a fake 1050 Ti that's probably worth $400. Okay, we'll, we'll use this as our graphics card because that'll be easier to fry. This is like a $500 video right here because I'm going to break parts. Like 100%. You should subscribe right now because parts are getting broke. We will put all of our cooking materials in here and uh, we'll have we'll switch to cooking with Jay. I'll teach him my batter recipe to fry stuff. So the next step is to actually fry our computer components. And... Uh, this is a cooking lesson, more like uh, I had to learn how to fry stuff before the video started. Yeah. So, ingredients. Well, obviously you're going to need computer parts to start off with. So let's just go down the list. We've got flour on the far side, milk and an egg, and then breadcrumbs. And then over here, over here we have pan and we'll put some oil in it. So I think it's best that we get started um, by first getting the pan heated up and then uh, getting cooking. So I think we all want to make some uh, fried computer parts at home. So I'm gonna show you my very unique and special recipe for uh, making computer fried computer parts. So first up, I'm just taking some very simple cooking oil and just uh, dropping that in the pan. You know, making sure it gets all around the pan. You don't want any missed spots. You want to make sure you have great part coverage. And then, of course, you know, make sure you put the cap back on because you don't want to spill any of that. Okay, let's just turn this on real quick. Make sure we get it all around the pan. Okay, so here is Jay's secret ingredients to frying computer parts. You just want to take some flour, standard stuff you get in the store, and uh, you want to plop that on a plate. You know, make sure you have enough that... You can cover all your computer parts nice and well. Uh, yeah, so you have plenty of it around there, nice and spread out. Next up, we've got milk and an egg. Now you guys can watch my extremely pro egg cracking skills here, even though I cracked the yolk. Then you wanna whisk that a little bit together and then you also wanna get yourself some milk and pour that in there and then mix that all together too. That way you have a, a nice liquid to bind it all together for you. Okay, once you got that all mixed together, then you want to grab yourself some breadcrumbs. Um, you just want to take that out of the bag and uh, put a couple down on a plate. And uh, this is what the, uh, the really good breading is on the outside. You just want to grab some of them suckers and put them on a plate too. And then you're all ready to go. And there's all our ingredients. So let's start with the ram, everybody. You just want to get some flour going on this sucker. Make sure that it's uh, completely covered up and everything. Then just put a little bit of that in the eggs and you're good. And then you just go back back over again. And you keep going until you got plenty of flour all over your ram. So it's all good. And then you just put in the breadcrumbs. Get everything nice and uh, cozy on there. And pop it in the pan. Listen to that sizzle, guys. That's the sound of some ram frying. 
Here we go with the CPU. Same process, guys. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs, and then into the pan. Then the same thing for this SSD here. It's kind of small, so it's pretty easy to get done quick. Then for the graphics card, we have to do a little bit more work. This is a big boy, and I'm kind of running out of stuff. I, I kind of don't bread it properly, but it's not like this is going to make a difference because like the paint starts heating up and burning off. So. Oh, and then the fan. The fan's a big boy, too, so uh, wasn't able to get much on there. I'm not going to waste too much food. So, there you go. That's the very simple recipe for how to fry computer pro components properly. So, I'm tempted to make, like, the endless jokes about... Oh, I fried my CPU. Oh, I fried my RAM. So first off, this has some like very thick fry on it. Um, that's the right word. The RAM looks absolutely beautiful. Fan actually started melting before it started frying, which is kind of disappointing. And same for the GPU, some of the paint started melting off of it. I was able to get a good bit on the bottom. Um, but not the full coating that I wanted to, but that's just limitations of, I guess, the GPU itself. Um, so a couple things I'm interested in is, uh, I know, I remember solder is like 650 degrees. So I'm curious, at least unleaded solder. So I'm curious whether or not, um, what this will be. So the next thing I have to do is, A, um, remove just enough off the, uh, pins to hopefully get it to seed, um, into the, the motherboard. So, um... I definitely should ask the manufacturer uh, if this is what you're supposed to do. So I'm just going to try cleaning off the, the pins and then um, we can try to mount it properly. Um, this we're going to have an interesting challenge because I cannot, um, yeah, this is like glue and this is not going to be great for those little um, resistors on the back. I believe the resistors. I mean, I would eat this, but like it's this is like thermal paste area, and this was not properly cleaned beforehand. So, this is literally like thermal paste fried stuff. So, um, I'm not eating this as much as y'all would certainly like me to. I know. Yeah. Yo, like on the list of like. Oh my gosh. Turn this on. If it explodes, sweet. If not, also sweet. Oh, it's putting off an extremely high pitched noise. And it doesn't look like the graphics card is working. A five hundred dollar ten fifty Ti. You had told me that three years ago. I would have flipped out. Like flipped out. Remove all sticks of RAM <clears throat> and try our fried RAM. Let's turn it on, maybe. Well, don't fry your RAM too while you're at it. We can try this fan, this joke of a fan. Let's try the joke of the fan. Cause I'm about to get coated in uh, flour. I am sure. This should not be that difficult except flying flour everywhere. I'm just gonna have the, the hand on the power supply here real quick while I turn this on. You get a nice aroma of uh, fried, I'm sure. 
M.2 slot, which I am pretty skeptical of. Do not think this is going to boot. Now for the grand finale, will the CPU boot? Well, we've cleared off the CPU um, a substantial bit. Let's uh, give it a shot. Well, good news. We've made it past as far as, yeah, it's booting. So can you fry your CPU? Yes. Um, would I recommend frying your CPU based off of the other components that not fair as well? So I guess the, the real thing is it looks like when you have it on, like, it looks like it might be conducted. The flower might be somewhat conducted with the grease. And that's the problem. Um, I mean, there's still some on the back here, so I don't know. It definitely smells fried. I'm hungry now. Should you fry your stuff? Um, all, all depends on what you're feeling today. Um, would I recommend it? Probably not. My parts did not fare too well. Now this video, in case you can't tell, was a joke. Please don't fry your parts at home. Both kinds. Don't fry them electrically and don't fry them literally. You should subscribe because we have a couple other experiments with computer parts coming up shortly. Yeah, you don't want to miss out.